Australia's wool market has closed the year on a high. Wool producers have watched the price climb in 2017, driven by Chinese demand. In Western Queensland, growers have done it tough for years with hopes of a big new year. Wool prices are hitting highs that haven't been seen for more than half a century. Every fibre in this shed is worth three times as much as it was last year. It's been tremendous. Um, we've, had a, we've had a long road in the wool industry and it's been nice to see this market. They're talking that this is probably as big a boom as, as it was in the 50s. Those were wool's golden days when Australia rode on the sheep's back and the need for Korean war uniforms saw wool surge to more than a pound for a pound. Asia is again driving demand. More than 70% of Australian wool goes to China. They're quite hungry for our wool clips still. There's plenty of orders being written into uh, you know, prompt shipment, January shipment, February shipment of next year. So we, we can only see the demand um, staying. Three years ago, a bale was worth about $800. Today, that same bale can go for as much as 3500 For some in Western Queensland who have endured six years of drought, the prices are a saviour. It's going to pay a lot of bills and, and uh, bring a lot of cash flow into the district and allow businesses to semi-recover from this very dry time. And prices aren't the only thing that are up. Over the past five years, millions of dollars have been spent across Western Queensland building fences to protect sheep from wild dog attacks. And graziers are starting to see results. At Dunblane, lambing survival rates have almost doubled from well below half to 85%. I've got sheep to shear. Yeah, they haven't disappeared down the throats of dogs. And with the industry finally in recovery, all wool growers in these parts want for Christmas is some rain. Nicole Bond, ABC News, Barcaldon.